Welcome to our short uh, explanation and demonstration of video stabilization. Uh, we have been trying to find video stabilization software that just works without too much you know, experience or knowledge of, of how these things operate, uh, just to clean things up. And there's a, a utility called FF Show, which has, uh, it's not really a utility, but that will do video stabilization. And a lot of software uses it. It's freeware. It's um, open software. And so it's bolted into a bunch of things. You can run it manually and do it through command line. But instead of doing that, what we've chosen to try is NCH's video pad here on the top left and the top right is Filmora's free software and then the bottom is the original so let's just play these quickly so you can see what the differences are and we can see how smooth they are as they're playing so the bottom again is the original you can see it's bouncing around all over the place the NCH software seems to be doing the best so best job on the top left also NCH uh, video pad is free for personal use. Uh, you can see that the Filmora version on the top right, while it's free for personal use, you end up with a ridiculous banner across it, rendering it obviously garbage. So I did play around with some of the settings. Filmora definitely has more settings, but I set Filmora to double what it had come up with. An, it had analyzed the video and suggested a 10% stabilization. I changed it to 20% because I ran through it a few times. What you're looking at right now is a 20% stabilization. Uh, the NCH software in the top left, I did nothing to. I just let it run. And you can see it's doing a pretty good job just without doing anything. So, <laughs> so there's the NCH software. I'll click run it now. And up we go. Let's open the AV system project. There it is. And to stabilize it, drag the video down. I simply went to uh, video effects and then down to stabilize. And I didn't change the D shaker. I just left it at high quality. I have not tried uh, ultra quality, but I'm going to do that right now and let's see what that looks like. And uh, just for fun, we'll go into advanced and you can see yeah, there's a lot of settings here. So <laughs> uh, you can play with it. Video compressor H264, that's n normal. Uh, H265 is better. 264 is just fine. Let's uh, let's get out of this and let's uh, run the ultra quality here. This does take some time. This took, oh, I don't know, this whole video is about four and a half minutes and the stabilization took on the, uh, the normal high quality took, well, several times that. Let's go with that. So we will come back when this is done and we'll take a look and compare the videos again. All right, so the one in the bottom left, you can see says stabilized, stabilized. And what that uh, is in my case is the one that we just completed. Now that took more than an hour to stabilize on ultra high quality. And uh, let's see if it's worth it. So uh, the ones to really pay attention to are this one, which is the ultra high quality using the NCH uh, video pad software. This is just the regular high quality uh, that's done through uh, the NCH video pad software and the bottom right here is the original uh, And then of course there's the Filmora one here with the insane banner across it Pretty much making it unusable as far as free software goes. So let's take a look I'll click play on these as fast as I can and get them to sync up So just looking at this I would say that the regular high stabilization from the NCH video pad software is really all that was needed. It's done a pretty good job. You can compare these uh, top left here to the bottom right, um, and you can see that it's really done a nice job of cleaning it up. The Filmora, as I mentioned, is garbage because of the banner across it. It's just an ad. You know, their free software isn't free at all. It's just uh, it's a way to advertise their product. And uh, down at the bottom left here is ultra high stabilization, which is fine, but I don't think it's uh, dramatically better than the high stabilization. In fact, it might even be worse in some areas. And I, I don't know how that's possible. So 
Uh, I don't want to state that as a make that as a statement, but I, I just put it out there as that might be. It's certainly, the high quality looks fine to me. Okay, so that's about it. If you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.uartech.ca. Thank <laughs> you.